Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at how to make the most silver possible without using gathering as one of the ways to make money. And as you can see in the top right corner, I now have 376,000 silver and we're going to kind of show you this episode um, pretty much how I did it and uh, kind of show you guys the basics of black market trading. So, you know, in the last episode, I just said at the very end that I was going to go to Fort Sterling and change Rome gates um, and then start probably going for that hidden treasure. Instead, I decided to do a method I really haven't done much of, and that's black market to auction house trading. Um, you know, right here, I'm looking at mercenary jackets, and the main thing that you're going to find out is it's pretty hard uh, to start um, because you're going to be making money on pretty much every trade. Um, but you're going to be making such little amount of money that it takes, you know, some time. So this took me about three to four hours to make 376,000. That's just because I'm, you know, not very good at it. And I was also starting with about 4,000 silver. So it was very difficult for me to, um, make money in the beginning. But once I started making money, as you can see, I, I do have this sped up just, you know, constant trips and constant trips. I don't have, um, this is like when I started running to a brick wall, by the way, I started, I started having a lot of trouble finding good trades. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm doing it my way. So, you know, there's a lot of people probably doing it their way and their way is probably better. Uh, this was my first time trying to do this, but you guys, if you don't know how the black market works, basically the black market offers you a certain amount of silver per item and you can go in the auction house and find those items for cheaper and then go sell them at the black market. It's basically SBI, uh, sandbox interactive's way of getting rid of some of the silver in game. Um, and getting rid of some of that gear so we don't have a crazy, terrible economy in the game. So basically, it's it's a great method of, you know, making money as well. Um, and everyone wins in this in this money-making method. So if you guys get good at this, I would definitely suggest trying it out on new accounts and old accounts. Um, because this is just a great money-making method. The more you can risk, um, like basically the more money you have, the more money you can make. Um, obviously, I got to 377000 now, I guess. Or well, I don't know what we're doing right now, but... I'm at a certain I'm at a certain money amount right here. As I basically just tried to speed this up for you guys to show you that you know you run back and forth between the market and the auction house, and you make money doing this. Um, but we will have an example here coming up. I think I ran into a brick wall, like I said. Um, but here we did actually find something um, right here, I believe. If this is where I'm thinking of, we did find the war bow, um, a tier seven war bow, and this was basically uh, the last little money I made. Um, the Warbo basically gave me about 20k. Um, let's see here. As I, I'm searching around right now, kind of trying to figure out, uh, you know, what I can find that'll work for me. Um, I finally find the Tier Seven Warbo, and the Tier Seven Warbo is going to be a great find for me because it's going to give me about 15, 15k, I believe. Uh, I think I'm going to be at 399k after this trade. Um, but basically, I just wanted to show you guys what I did to accumulate this uh, silver to start this video out. Um, I am going to try to actually turn this money into levels now. Um, I'm not going to be using probably Tomes of Insight or anything like that. But I just kind of want to show you guys, uh, you know, how I'm going to be buying my gear off the start without using gathering. Um, this doesn't, you know, level anything up in particular. In particular. So it's not a great way of um, earning money because you're not really gaining anything but money. Um, but you know, it does work, and I hope you guys like the example there with the Warbo um, as we get started with some of the fresh stuff we did in Episode 3. On my left monitor, I actually have uh, paint on the side, and I basically alt-tab every time I'm looking at the black market, and I print screen a couple times. I print screen maybe five or six times, five or six different pages um, that look good to me. They look like, you know, I know most of the prices for most weapons and armor. So I'm able to look at the prices in the black market. I'm able to print screen, paste it into a paint on the alt tab screen over here on the left of my um, setup. Um, and I'm actually able to alt tab and look at, you know, the prices and then delete that page if it's nothing there, delete the next page if nothing's there. So I get about 10 pages worth of items and armor that kind of look like they have a chance at being uh, money makers. And that just speeds up the process a lot. So that's that's what I do, and I hope it works for you guys as we get started into something new. All right, guys, so now we're actually heading out to the black zone. We're going to try to level up our gear a little bit. Um, I had a couple of ideas and, you know, thoughts run into my mind. I'm like, you know, I'm running, you know, 6K worth of gear, so why not actually just run into the Hellgate 
um, and get XP doing that. Uh, the Hellgate actually goes away and disappears on me, so I don't get to actually try that method. Instead, I'm just out here attacking the Black Zone, um, what do you call these things? Berserkers? Black Zone Berserkers are the way to go, it seems like, because we get about 450 fame per, uh, per kill, so it didn't really take me many kills at all to level up. Um, you know, right here I got my learning points reached, so I will actually be able to level up my plate armor, allowing me to actually wield all tier 3 plate armor. Um, I know in the last episodes, uh, you actually were able to see that um, we got our tier 4 leather armor, and we got to tier 4 daggers. Um, that is going to be one of my big focuses, is dagger builds, because uh, that was voted upon, but... The second most voted was tanks. And I think tanks could be a lot of fun for ZVZs, trying to maybe be even a shot color running a Soul Scythe tank build. Um, so I am running that quarter staff, trying to level up all of this stuff to tier 4. And my goal of this episode or series, um, well not series, but episode, um, the whole goal of episode 3 is to basically get my quarter staffs up to level 4 and my tank armor up to tier 4 as well. So... We're basically going to try to level up everything to tier 4 so we can jump on to a DPS build or a tank build whenever I'm needed for random dungeons, allowing me to get into more different uh, random dungeons faster. A lot of people will have a problem with getting into random dungeons because they have one build and you know people are calling for a tank or they're calling for a healer and all they have is a DPS um, and so on and so forth. But uh, one of the most commonly needed uh, roles so this should be very helpful to have a quarter staff tank build um, but right there you saw destiny fulfilled um, and we're going to be looking at our you know our uh, destiny board here kind of trying to figure out everything quarter staffs are really close to being leveled up to tier four here so we're actually going to continue to kill some mobs um, these beginning episodes i do like that you guys are hanging in with me um, episode three and, you know, episode two, they're going to be a little bit slower, slower paced. We're not going to be doing hell gates. We're not going to be doing random dungeons yet. We're just going to be killing mobs and kind of living off the land for a little bit here as we try to kind of, you know, level everything up a little bit so we can actually go straight into the fun stuff after this. We're going to start doing some random dungeons soon. Um, and so very soon after that, we're going to try to do probably some hell gates um, with some other players that, you know, are just LFG or, you know, maybe we'll get into some guild mates soon or some guildies, uh, but right now we're actually just going to hang around with some LFG chat or, you know, whoever adds me on YouTube, you can add me. I've already added uh, two or three of the friends, and, you know, you guys ask me questions, and I'll try to answer that stuff as soon as possible, as I just leveled up to Tier 4 quarter staff. But I know a lot of you guys have actually added me in-game on the new account, and I will add everybody back that adds me in-game. Um, just don't expect a response when you're, P, uh, you're DMing me very often. I'm, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, but if you want a you know a decent response, possibly, um, you know, stick to YouTube comments or maybe you know join the Discord is the best bet. As we did get to that tier four play armor, so now I'm actually able to specialize in certain kinds of armor, like a let's say knight helmet or you know, grave guard boots, like we're here. We're gonna actually buy the setup. We're gonna run. Um, we're gonna run the setup pretty much throughout most dungeons because it's going to be the build we're going to be using in ZVZs for the most part. We might change a few things around, uh, but obviously at this time I don't have enough for like Judicator um, plate body. If I if that was something I wanted to run is Adjudicator armor, that's just something I'm not going to be able to you know afford right now. You're going to be able to see that the Judicator 4.0 is about 215k. I can run it, but you know if I die in a random dungeon, I'd rather not have to <laughs> go right back into killing mobs or doing expeditions or whatever else. So I'm actually to that point where um, I've got my build ready and I'm at tier four. And, you know, I'm excited to see you guys for the next episode. Uh, stick around in the next episode. Episode four will be coming at you soon. And thanks for sticking around, boys. The setup pretty much.